Public-private partnerships have the potential to improve animal health and welfare. By adopting a joint approach in which the public and private sectors agree on responsibilities and share resources and risks, they can together achieve common objectives and deliver sustainable benefits. There are many activities where PPP can help national veterinary services and the private sector alike to increase their impact, ranging from disease surveillance and control to emergency preparedness or fighting antimicrobial resistance or meat inspections and many others. In order to support countries in implementing such an approach, the OIE has produced guidelines based on successful field experiences and to further help relevant stakeholders, public or private, to take ownership of this approach, a new e-learning course is now available thanks to our collaborative efforts with EUFMD. Indeed, it's been a great opportunity to work with the OIE on this development. We found in the recent years that uh, e-learning courses are a really good way of reaching very many people in regional courses, but also when applied at national level. Public-private partnerships are really important for foot and mouth disease control and we really want these courses to be used by those developing national strategies for FMD. We hope that the one-hour course that's already been developed will be uh, of use to very many people. We believe it's been optimised to make it a good, interesting, fun and very uh, important way of learning about public and private partnerships in animal health. And we hope it will be followed by a range of courses that uh, apply these principles to the control of foot and mouth disease and other major areas where public-private partnerships can make a difference in the control uh, of animal diseases. An area we are working on ourselves at the moment are public-private partnerships for vaccine security because the availability of vaccines depends on a very good coordination and work between public and private entities. So far, the course has been used to prepare participants for several regional workshops in Africa and Asia, and it allowed them to put their knowledge into practice by developing PPP business cases while using the guidelines presented in the OIE handbook. What participants like the most is the clarity of the e-learning course and the use of real-life examples and videos to illustrate best practices for PPPs. So we now invite you to take the course and discover how well-designed PPPs can benefit your activities. It is short and I sincerely hope you will find it a good investment of your time.